are such an asshole. Asshole consultant, how are you guys doing? Banging him out. Oh, I didn't. I shouldn't have taken two days off. That's all backlog now. Hello, Mr. Cleary. I'm seeking your counsel concerning some potential opportunities for me in, in the near future in the interest of, as you say, not fucking up. To give some background information on myself, I'm 19 years old and I come from a small poverty-stricken farming community. Despite being raised by parents who are quite conservative in contrast to other Gen Xers, I never really applied myself in high school having realized fairly early on that the compulsory public school system is a tool for powerful institutions to hypnotize a common man into doing as he's instructed without critically thinking about what society compels him to do. I have taken several dozen IQ tests scoring a low average of 123 and high average of 142. Since high school, I have spent the last two years in college pursuing my passion as an acclaimed musician through diploma in music and technology. I know what you might be thinking. No, it's not might be thinking, I am thinking. Um, but I didn't assume much risk with this major since the tuition in this program was cheap enough for my blue collar parents to pay for the first two years. You wasted two years, it's not the time. Look, there's two huge costs of college. One is the actual financial costs, the monetary costs, and then there's your time, which is the equivalent of money. That's all, all money is, is time manifested in a physical form. So you might go and exchange your time for other people's time to have them do and make things for you. So you've wasted two years. And you're not getting it back. Um, da, 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 da. And the up and coming third year will only send me back ten to twelve thousand dollars, including food, electricity, internet, and housing, which could be paid in advance by going back to an old job I had working houseboat docks, where I was a solid relation with my employers. This college is also where I met a lovely, beautiful woman who is honest and traditionally minded, and who I've been in a loving and stable relationship for about a year. She says she wants to one day marry me and has happily agreed to have a few of my children at the right time when we have the financial resources to do so. I intend on finishing this program, but upon the horizon, I see myself encroaching on a crossroads. My initial plan was to take out student loans for the purpose of furthering my education and take the place of my music instructors as they apparently bring in enough revenue to drive new cars and support a spouse and several children while having a surplus cash left over to put away for emergencies. Are you sure about that? Did you see their tax returns? Did you look at their bank statements? Have you seen an audited financial statement, a personal balance sheet? Dude, if anything, when I, if it's been my experience that if anything, when you see someone with a new car or a flashy car or flashy shit in general, they don't have any money, they're poor. They're living paycheck to paycheck, they have tons of debt, and they keep going further and further and further into debt. So, and you're gonna, music majors don't make money, dude. They don't, they don't. They just don't, okay? And you said you're gonna go teach. You're not gonna make that much money. You're just not. I Change your degree, man. That, that right there, I, I just gave you the best advice. I totally made it worth your money you paid me for this video, right? Get a real degree. Read the book Worthless. All right. If you get, well, what do I major? Get the book Worthless. I go through it in detail. It would be another $12 very well spent. But it, you're, you're in for a rude awakening when you're not going to be making six figs as a, as a music teacher. The fact you're teaching, that's your employment, means the field is pretty worthless. Where the only job is to reteach the same shit. To quote Archer, it's the circle of why bother. Uh, this college is also a ba -ba -ba -ba. My initial plan was to take out student loans. However, after discovering your YouTube channel, I've been wondering if something more industrious and pragmatic would turn out to be more lucrative. Mm -hmm. And if it's worth putting myself into debt for passions, I probably have the connections to pursue on my own terms. Mm -hmm. You could be a musician without going to school. Most music, the good musicians didn't go to school for it. They just played the fucking music. Um, but, but, and you gotta learn to separate paragraphs, man. That's why I, I take a long time. It's just one block of text. So Rivers, I'm hired. I'm passionate about and talented with hard sciences, and I have an interest in math. 
which despite being bad at when I was younger makes much more sense with the advantage of a few more years of brain development. I also have inherited a hands-on problem-solving mind from the other men in my family who are mechanical and trade geniuses. As I see it, in order to reach my desired life goals, I'm going to have to shovel a lot of shit, pay a lot of dues, despite how difficult and grim the world may be. I honestly see it as a challenge to either be lived with or overcome. And in this regard, I've always found that the best techniques are passed on by the survivors, which is what moved me to send you this email. Best regards. I'm eager to hear from you soon. Cole. All right, Cole. Yeah, uh, you can... Just, just, drop, just don't. Don't go to your third year, okay? If you can get your money back, get your money back. Just don't go, right? And take your time to figure out what you want to do. You got the IQ for it. You could be an engineer. You could be a nuclear physicist if you wanted to be. Because uh, your IQ is very high, and you, you can certainly do that. But you you are not going to waste any more time or money. I don't care if your parents paid it. And parents, would, you, know, you think they didn't want to like throw that money into their 401k plan? Uh, don't waste anybody's money, including your own. Uh, you're going to have to get a different job. And we, we're a different degree, which you get a different job. So, you know, CPA in accounting, you're not going to get a degree in accounting. You're going to get a CPA if you go that route. Engineering, computer programming, computer networking, uh, cybersecurity, you could do trades, you can, you know, anything. I can't think of, and then you, you can go play music. You don't need some washed up dope of a professor who couldn't hack it in the real world as a musician fucking teaching. My God, just all the musicians I know, like the guy like Matt Baldoni, I think he went to, to, Cal to California, he did go to California, he went to college like a year he's like i don't need this and then and he plays that's what he and the guy is always honing his craft that's how musicians um get successful is you hone your craft and you practice um but yeah dude i i would not be um yeah I, you drop out of college even if you don't have a plan if your parents give you guff say you know what it's not it's not don't don't let them give you guff just say i'm gonna go work i'm gonna save up money and reevaluate my plan. And that's gonna be the wisest thing you've done in your life. And then maybe this girl and you get together and you come up with a better plan. Uh, it's nice that you met her, you know, it's, it's, it's rare to find a traditional gal like that. That's the one thing going for you there. But don't mess it up, because if you guys wanna have kids and get married, what are you gonna do, be the teacher, the music teacher? Music teachers can't afford families. They can't afford nice things. It's, that'll be the quote, so. All right, that's it. Questions, answers, assholeconsulting.com. I'll see you guys later. Toodles.